Okay, me and Baby saw this sign. Right, when I'm, there's a part of the, the, the sign that says, walkers should be aware of this danger as in the golf balls flying past. So we are not gonna go and take that risk because, yeah. I mean, there is only like one set of people playing golf, but you never know. You never know. No, I don't want a golf ball in your head, do you, baby? I want your brain intact. Yeah. Just saying to baby that you can imagine living somewhere like that. The house was right in the middle of nowhere. But I think it's boarded up. Can you tell? Oh yeah. How did they even get there? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like, it's true, because like, where's the path? Oh, no, 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 there's a path, it goes all the way, like, round there, and then it goes up there, so yeah. We said the same thing at the same time, and I'm feeling a bit scared, because these guys are playing golf, and me and Dan, once we're playing golf, no, we walked past somewhere like this, and the golf balls flew past us, that was the scariest moment of my life. I know we've come so far, and it might look sunny, but if you can see the thing in the background, the house, we're both freezing, and it's like we both started sneezing, and I just thought, I can't be bothered, we'll go to this house another time, because it's just too far. Yeah, they're taking this in now, because the kitty winkles go back to school tomorrow. Yeah, it's nice, man, we're going to go and have a little Bible study. In there, the Broadwalk Cafe. How do you feel about that, babes? Okay, guys, we've gone over Romans 8. And um, there's a lot in there, man. Read it for yourselves. But, yeah, what... what, Which what stuck out, stood out to you the most? We read the whole thing. So, verse 35. God is for us, who can be against us? In every situation, we have to look to him, as he is for us, and he will intercede for us. Yeah, and Lord, death, what does it say? What shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long, we are counted as sheep of the slaughter. Yet in all things, we are moved that conquerors through him who loved us, for I am persuaded that neither life nor death, nor angels, principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor heights, nor depth, no other thing shall separate us from the love of Jesus Christ. So nothing. So I've been feeling a bit condemned, because I didn't really read my Bible much um, the last few days. And also, I just kind of got in a bit of sin and struggle and stuff, and then I was in condemnation for a bit, and then I was like... I have to come back and read the word because I just went a few days not reading and that's what happens man. When we get out of the Bible. Like when life kind of caught up with people get to remain in the spirit. So one, this is one way of doing it. Remain in spirit, remain in the Bible, remain through prayer and let God guide you. Through. Yeah, because if we're not in the word, it's hard to be in the spirit. We're not in the word every day continually. So that's when I got I got the spirit, I went back into the flesh. So but it's good it's all good. We've come back to the word and we're gonna stay in the word and we're gonna make an effort to pray and read the word every day out. So yeah. Don't feel condemned if you're also struggling with that, but just try and get back into like reading the word every day. So, yeah, just show you we're not perfect either, man, we're not. Sometimes we fall short, but we pick ourselves back up and keep going. So don't be condemned, Romans eight. But so stay in the spirit. The journey's not always easy, yeah. but God has got us. Guys, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Peace.